Hello, this is Matt Thomas with Kessler Ellis Products Infolink HMI team. We're going to put out a couple of quick videos highlighting some new features for Infolink. Um, in order to use the new web server function, you have to take a couple of steps to set that up, and we're going to go through that right now. So, in your control panel under Programs and Features, we're going to go to Turn Windows Features On or Off, and what we're looking for here is to activate our Internet Information Services. <clears throat> so we'll wait for the list to populate and what we're looking for is Internet Information Services. Not all of these features are necessary as you can see um, most of these aren't checked. There are a few but the most important one is this one here the Internet Information Services Hostable Web Core. Just make sure that, that is selected uh, hit OK and it will activate that feature for you. So once you set up the ISS, the way to use the web server function is as follows here. So I've just started a new project in Infolink, brought up a new window, and I'm just going to add a couple things to it here. Um, we'll just do a poly, and we'll just name that a poly. As you can see, you could change border, interior color, you can do gradient fills, a number of things. Uh, so we're going to add an animation to this and we're going to tie it to a system tag. If you open this screen up you'll see that there are no flyouts for the buttons to tell you what they are but if you go to the help files it'll give you a quick description of what all those are and the help files are searchable very easy to use, tech support available, always free. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell this thing to rotate and we're going to tie it to the seconds tag and since we're using seconds we'll make the high 60 we're gonna tell it to rotate 360 degrees and we'll do it to go counterclockwise we can tell it what to rotate around the start point center point end point or user defined we're gonna select user defined use the select tool and we're just gonna spin it from the middle and okay and we'll close that up and let's say we want to bring a gauge over from the wizard. The wizard contains a lot of gauges that would be a good starting place to design your, your Infolink project. So all we need to do is click on the window. We're going to right click on the window. We're going to go to properties. And on this screen what we're going to do is check the box that says publish this window for web view. So we're going to check that. Hit apply. OK. And under tools we're going to publish the project. It's going to tell me to save it first so let's do that first. We'll save it and publish the project. Um, it's going to give you a couple other options here. You know you can add a background view, you can scale the size of the page when it comes up, um, add text, things of that nature. So we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. It's going to give you a directory path for where that is and you're just going to copy that and this is what we're going to put in our IIS uh, so we're going to go back to the control panel um, under all control panel items administrative tools we're going to find our internet information services and under your PC you'll see sites we'll click on sites default websites and over here on the right you get a tab for advanced settings. We're going to click on advanced settings and the physical path this is what we're going to paste in here. And hit OK. Now that page should be viewable on our web browser and the web browsers that are supported right now are Mozilla or Chrome so we'll go and use Chrome and we're going to give it the local host address and here's what our window looks like when it's displayed in the web viewer so I hope this was helpful if you need any further assistance please give us a call at KEP